Hello, my name is Kim Hee Jong. Everybody knows EMS is the fastest and safest way to send your parcel to your country. But it is expensive. And also, it's a hassle to fill out an EMS form when you visit a post office. What's even worse is that your parcel might come back because you put a prohibited item like a laptop or something that causes a fire into your parcel. So today, I'm going to tell you how to use EMS in Korea. Through this video, you are going to learn how to pre-book EMS on your mobile phone, which is called Smart Reservation. The most important thing is that you can get a 5% discount via Smart Reservation. And it's very easy and simple. Let's get started. First, open the Play Store or the App Store and type in Korea Post Office in the search box. You can see the post office application. Click the install button and download it. But there is something to do before you get into the post office app because you don't have a Korean keyboard on your mobile phone. Even if you have a Korean keyboard on your phone, it's definitely easy to follow this video. Open the Google and type in Korea English address in the search box. You can see this e-post homepage. It says postal code search. Korea Post offers an English address on the Korea Post homepage. So you can get English address from here. Select the city and the district first. and put the first letter of your address. Select the road name. And put the number of your address. Your address comes out. Copy your address. Now, we are going to get into the post office app. First, you should click allow buttons. Click a button shaped like a plane, which means an international mail. Select the EMS button. This is a very important notice about prohibited items. It says that if you put prohibited items into your box, you might pay extra money when your parcel comes back due to those items. So before we move on to the next step, we might as well check prohibited items first. This is a notice for customers about prohibited items. You can see this notice when you visit a post office. I just translated it for you. If you need more time to take a look, please pause this video and check it out. Click the add button and put your name. For me, I put Kim Hee Chong. Click the search address button. If you put English letters in the search box, then nothing comes out because you should put Korean letters in the search box here. But don't worry, you already got your English address a minute ago. You can get a zip code from it. Paste your English address here in the address blank. Korea has a 5 digit number zip code. So find and copy it. Paste it in the zip code blank. When you get into detailed address blank, if you live in an apartment, you can put your union number here. But if you live in a house, you can just put a period or a comma. You should put your mobile phone or telephone number. Now, 
Let's fill in recipient information such as name, address, a zip code, and phone number. You should put all your content into Customs Declaration. Click the Add button. Select Non-Document. Click Goods Classification and choose one of them. Click HS Codes Blank. You can put your content, quantity, its value, and weight. Click the Save button. You can add all your content in the same way. Make sure to check that all information you put is correct. Click the Apply button. It's done! Now, you can visit a post office near your place in your box. Open the Post Office app. Click the International Mail button. Scroll down a little bit. You can see the confirmation check button and click it. Click the button shaped like a barcode. Show this barcode to a postal clerk. You can get a 5% discount when you pay for it. I'm not good at using a smartphone. So if I can do it, just about everybody can do it as well. This concludes my video today. Thank you for watching and I really hope this video is helpful to you. See you next time. Bye.